That was perfect. <laughs> it was. I've been reading through Hebrews, and I don't know if you all ever get to read in the Bible, and you get to a place you're going to stop, and you say, I can't stop there. <laughs> yeah. And you kind of, kind of just keep on going, because I was going to speak on something out of Hebrews, but uh, I couldn't pull on the reins, and I ended up in First Peter, and I thought, man, that is just awesome. You know, sometimes I think I, I, I get kind of kind of Calvinist and kind of down on it, and you know, man, you need to be holy and that kind of stuff. Well, you know what, man, First Peter is just awesome following up Hebrews. It's like, it's it's kind of like that song that Larry just led us through. It won't be very long. It is, it is a fantastic opening. I'm going to read starting out of First Peter. And I don't have a lot to say about this. You'll be glad to know because it speaks for itself. It says, first, starting in 1 Peter, you know, he, he is speaking to the apostles who got run out of Jerusalem. Man, they've been under attack. They got all run out of Jerusalem. So he's speaking to the apostles. And, and starting in 3, it says, Blessed be God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. I mean, you could almost stop there. What a wonderful thing that is. You know, just because God loves us, man, he causes us to be born again. And Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. Huh? You probably could cut it off, but I tend to be long-winded. <laughs> to, to obtain an inheritance which is imperishable and undefiled and will not fade away and you know what? It's like calling the best restaurant in town. It says, and it's reserved in heaven for you. Man, when you accept Jesus Christ, you've got a reservation. And the maitre d' is going to seat you at the place you deserve to be seated. It is just an awesome thing to know. Carry on. It says, in this you greatly rejoice, or at least we should, even though for now, for a little while, if necessary, you have been distressed through various trials, so that the proof of your faith being more precious than gold which is perishable, even though tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And though you have not seen him, you loved him. You know, you hear everybody say, well, man, that was great for the apostles. They saw all these miracles and stuff, and therefore, you know, it must have been awesome for them. Well, just think how awesome it is not even to see those things and to be able to believe in those things. That's what faith is all about. And though you do not see him now, but believe in him, you greatly rejoice with inexpressible, inexpressible and full of glory, obtaining as the outcome of your faith salvation of your souls. What a bargain that is, man. Just for some faith, your soul gets saved. I'm going to skip down to 13. Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Keep sober in spirit. Fix your hope completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ as obedient children. Do not be conformed to the former lust which were your which were yours in your ignorance. It's not saying we were perfect when we became no Jesus. We had all kinds of problems. But you know what? He forgives them because God loves us and that's why he sent Jesus. As obedient children, do not be conformed to former lust which were yours in ignorance. But like the Holy One who called you, be holy yourselves. Also, in all your behavior, because it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. If you address the Father as the one who impartially judges according to each one's work, conduct yourself in fear during the time of your stay on earth, knowing that you were redeemed with perishable things, you were not redeemed with perishable things, like silver or gold from your futile ways of life inherited from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of the unblemished lamb and spotless blood of Jesus Christ. And skipping down to uh, 24, but the word of the Lord endures forever, and this is the word which has been preached to you. You know, man, God is great through, our, through faith, a, a little bit of faith in Jesus Christ, the great things that have been preserved for us. You know, it won't be very long. We don't know when that's going to happen, but it'll all be gone in a moment and all those things of the past they won't matter whatsoever and it's all made possible through the blood of Jesus Christ amen 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 Let's have a prayer dear God it's just an awesome thing to know that you would send your son to save us where we should be jumping up and down in the aisles and saying hallelujah and amen and you know we probably each do it in our own way and sometimes we're a little bit reserved a little bit of dodging in our hearts that we just need to uh let others know, speak out about you and what a great God you are and this, the saving blood of Jesus. It is all about him and not about us. 
All these things we ask for and thank you for in the very strong and precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.